this is your captain speaking. We are arriving at Lago Tropicana Airport in a couple of seconds. It's 9am local and the new episode is right on the way in a couple of seconds. So make yourself comfortable and enjoy. And with that, a very warm welcome, a very warm and humid welcome to our brand new franchise zoo. This is Lago Tropicana, a new franchise on this channel. So if you're new here and you're in for a new franchise, that's the video for you to hit the subscribe button because we're going to do some crazy stuff. If you're wondering why there is no forest around here and where are all the airplanes you've seen in the intro, more about that later. But um, first of all, we are going to have a little time lapse in which I'm going to explain to you guys what is going to happen, what is uh, going to be done in the first episode and the second and so on, and what's in for you because there will be some cool things for you guys as viewers uh, to take part in all of that. Um, so make sure to stick with me until the second part, real time part, uh, after the time lapse while well, I hear a animal escaping. I'll fix that later. So let's move into the time lapse. Alrighty, so we are jumping a little bit back in time. You guys do see that there's quite something uh, that has been built in the first part of the video, especially including the airplanes and stuff, which I've done in sandbox mode. Um, the reason for that is I haven't researched all the stuff, I haven't researched all the blueprints, and so the blueprints I have used from the workshop, linkies are below in the description as always for the people who made them. This time around I was too lazy to create airplanes myself, so I grabbed some fantastic ones from the workshop that just filled in the gap. I needed to make that little fun intro. I kind of found this a fun little idea to have a bit of a storytelling. I will try to bring these things in more often, you know, uh, during the series. And this is already the first thing. We will have a little brainstorming in our Discord channel about what could be going on. So eventually I will jump into the chat and ask you guys some uh, some questions, and, you know, just, just kind of something where um, we want to find out what the story behind this zoo is and fill the whole thing with a bit more life. But before we talk talk too much about what is going on in the future. Let's talk about what is going on in the present. So um, I had an awful first recording session uh, which I lost all the footage of, uh, not because the game broke or anything else. It was mostly because my own stupidity kicked in very hard because I, I just hit my microphone in the very first seconds of the video. I was kind of laughing about this because, you know, camera turned on and blah, blah, blah. And what I didn't notice is that I muted my microphone because there's like a button in the center of the microphone, which is glowing freaking red. I should have seen that. It's not like easy to avoid. It is in your face, but I just did not see that. So eventually 30 minutes of um, episode were gone and I had to find a new way of doing it so apparently I found some of the footage um, without the camera included as a time-lapse because we did this during talking I did not really talk too much about anything interesting in particular I just told you the same things I will tell you in today's episode anyways but um, there will be a lot of uh, problems with the habitat and I'm very happy that I didn't need to bother you with this in this episode too much. We will have eventually some more in the later part of the video so if you are in here for me failing definitely this wish is going to be granted. Um, definitely this is going to be fulfilled in the later part of the video so um, recommendations to stick with me because that's gonna happen. Um, but the other thing is that I needed to give you the information that with my brand new Discord channel the link is in the description. We have moved back from Gilded to Discord for several good reasons. I'm doing a video about that in a couple of days, so don't worry, I'm going to explain. We are making like kind of a soft transition over there. Um, so yeah, if you want to become a member that is named after an animal, you should actually keep commenting on those videos because for every animal in each video, I will give one person who has commented under the video the specific role in my Discord named after the animal we have brought in. So just as an example, today we will bring in the Red Ruff Lemur. Some of you will be called the Red Ruff Lemur in my Discord channel uh, if you have commented under the video, just as a little idea. And then later on in the year, you will eventually see which episode you have joined or which episode you have won whatever fits best to you. Um, the good thing is, in this episode, we do not only have one animal, not two, not three, not four, but five. Um, I'm not going to show you the exhibits I have put down. They are basically money makers, but we will look at them in a future episode. Um, just to give you the idea what these animals are, we've got the fire salamander and the boa constrictor. So if you want to be one of those two, make sure to, you know, tell me which animal you want to be. And then obviously we have our three different uh, specimens of lemurs so the uh, ringtail lemur the white and black ruffed lemur and the red ruffed lemur 
as always, give me the hint in the comments which one you would prefer to be if you want to be one of those. But that's about it, uh, mostly from the time lapse. So I hand you over to my beautiful face again. Also, unfortunately, the um, sound's a bit out of sync. Uh, I have to figure out how exactly I'm going to sync that better for the next episode. But let me know your feedback about the camera in general anyways in the comments. That would be lovely. So yeah, this is the time to move you over to the Rudy with the face and the real time, both of them. Enjoy. And welcome back to the time lapse. Welcome back to my face. Um, yeah, basically, this is also kind of a little test. If you guys enjoyed this with the camera, uh, make sure to drop a comment about this down below. I will also do a little voting about this in the coming days. But we are in here to have a little looky look what's going on. I'm actually pausing the game because we have uh, quite decent daylight. Uh, we don't have too many issues going on apart from all of these things um, I have to fix real quick. Uh, we are, well, actually, I should talk about this habitat but I have done this in the time lapse so I'm not going to do too much about this um it's a bit of a pity that my idea I had is not really working the way yeah I intended it to work and um I have to do another thing uh, in the future to make sure that our keepers are available to go over here but um we did actually uh, forget about something over here uh, this is very weird indeed why this animal has no let me just drop it here and see that we can just see all of these things we still have animals escaping and i've got no clue why but uh, apparently i will fix this at some point we have no hard shelter we've got no soil we've got too much grass chart so a couple of these things we are going to quickly fix in the real time part right now um i'm also not the biggest fan of how the habitat in general looks quite yet uh, there is still a lot to be done uh, i will have to put in a bit of soil here and there just making sure they are uh, relatively happy with it just drop a couple things here and there and we also get, have to give them like a little shelter which i will do um over here it's gonna be like a well 100 uh, simple shelter but uh, i think it's gonna do its job so we're going to have these things uh, as a thing and then well these things as a thing is kind of a good thing but it's gonna be a pillar okay and then we're gonna have a sun shade so, oh wait, it's in, in the wrong tab, this is why. So shade is what we are going for. Um, as I said, it's gonna be very simple. Uh, I'm gonna drop it uh, over here, so that be, should be fine. Another one can be a bit lower here, and the other one goes lower here, something like that. And the other one goes even lower, like so. Awesome, and then we are going to repaint this thing into green. And these three, four, I can't even count, are going to be recolored into this. I still am a big fan of this like beige tone for these things. Really don't ask me why, I just like it. Um, so I, I see the first people putting why down below in the comments, but yeah, just do it. It's fine, I guess I'll survive, but it's my own stupidity. Uh, yeah, you know, getting you guys to comment that, it's, it's always the same. You know but i like comments so just keep on going okay so put these things in look it looks already quite a bit nicer uh hit play for a second and then let's have a little looky look if this works so um yeah that's awesome regarding the escapes i have no clue what's going on so the what is that the black and white rough lemur should be fine uh, this is another black and white rough lemur what about what about where are the other animals is there one no are they all over here Oh my god, there's quite some busy time. So, what about the ring-tailed lever? This one has no traversal at all right now. Okay, let's go to another one. Let me just grab that one. Okay, so they apparently can still escape, which totally I have no clue where in on earth they are escaping. I really can't tell. Like, it's somewhere they need to be able to jump out. I'm not sure if that's over here or if they can just jump over there or if they just do an insane jump over here. I just cannot see where that is. I guess I have to follow them around and then see where they jump out. But okay, where are my red ruff friends, by the way? We have the, the whiteies and we've got the ring-tailed, but where are my red ruff? Let me just have a little look where the red ruffs are. Red ruff lemur. Tick, tick, ticky, ticky. There's ticky. What about you? Okay, no. For you, Travis, so it's all about the ringtail lemurs. Look, there's one running over here as well. So the only thing I can think of is still this corner over here that they just kind of bug through here somewhere. Um, let me just quickly check that. If I can just basically drop like a huge rock in here and just dump that thing as in like a little roadblock something like that you know they have space there's like so much space i don't even need to care about if they have enough space or not so let's do that real quick and see if that changes anything because oh my god is that annoying 
Uh, oh, that was the wrong one anyways, but... Okay, so now you can escape again? I certainly can't explain. Wait, but this one over here, that the one that I just... So apparently this does not work, but what on earth is going on here? So if I'm just going to click you... Okay, never mind. I have no idea. I will basically not understand at all how they do this. It has to do something with the center. I can't... There has to be something about this. Like, the only thing I can imagine, and we're just going to try that real quick, okay? So we are going to do this, and we're going to say mesh, and then we are going to basically put... Oh, is that still the annoying uh, random rotation? There you go. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this piece and just going to do this very much below here, um, like that, and then just try to... Con connect that here so something like this I mean they technically should be able now to jump on top of that thing but maybe this is gonna help out with the problem okay see well this is this is beautiful they can even jump on that go awesome but it doesn't help with the escaping okay but what happens if I do the exact same through here as well oh my god okay I can't do this with this like overlay turn on um we just do this and we're gonna bring this in here as well and just give them i mean apparently at least we saw that they will be able to jump down there this is good to see because that means they can somewhat go there okay now what happens now with your traversal area it's fixed i cannot believe it guys it is fixed that has been the issue is that really true for all of them not that i'm just like celebrating too early all right let's move on with the next thing uh we have to put a couple fences in here to make that area look a bit nicer here in front of us um and then we will also go and do the entrance i mean i knew that i will need the time to fix certain issues in the habitat i didn't know it was that long but uh we are just going to bring a little bit of a fancy uh fence in here so that means we are actually having a bit of a nicer connection towards the um, the lakeside from here because we won't do too much with it uh, just as a simple lookout but that's about it just making sure that we have like a nice vista from over here maybe doing a couple of little plant work here and there and just like enjoying the vista from over there that is that is just kind of nice already so just having having this little fence as a blueprint for the future should do the trick for now just you know do a little bit of a design here and there it's just not you know i, I don't want to go too fancy because this is going to be like a tropical zoo which uh can be a little bit more like creative and whatnot so also just a couple of these things should go in again as i said i'm not like the biggest fan of this lower area here so we're just going to do a bit of a you know kind of rocky facade here and there not it's not even a facade it's just like a little detail you know let's just plop a couple of these in there's also like a little bit too less uh, inclined for me like it's all too flat so let's just go here very low on that maybe a tad bit higher so just give that a little bit of a more interesting look so there you go um and since you guys also like a lot of plants we can just go mad uh wait i forgot to click africa in i guess it was yes there you go uh, let's say new blueprints. I want to have some grass kind of thing. Is do we do we have like some grass? No, we don't. There's no buffalo grass or anything available in here. Oh, that's such a pity. I mean, I like these blue lotus plants, but the problem about these is, and I have let me just align them to the water. There you go. Uh, the problem is I I shouldn't put them too much in because they can climb above them, and so we will have our escapism uh, again going on. But I like these quite a lot from the looks, so. Let's just keep some of them in. Not sure why they are so easy to walk for them, but it's okay. I mean, maybe because they don't weigh the thing. It's just like they are super lightweight, but lightweight, baby, lightweight. Okay, so I'm so sorry. This is just, it slipped through. <laughs> oh my God. For those of you, you know, uh, you know, okay, that's that. Uh, okay, so we are just going to put a couple of little plants here and there. Jeez, I, I want to have some better ground coverage. I like this thing a lot. It's big, it's it's blocking quite nicely the view, so... Um, there was also something for Aliyah in here. If you're listening, Aliyah, you know. Many people know, it's good to have some insiders, no? You know, it's it's really good. Also, I shouldn't say you know too often, because then people will recognize me as Sam Denny. 
And for those of you who can actually relate to that, you guys have been around for a while. You guys have been around for a while. So, apparently what we have to do in the future is to grant access for the keepers to this side. We will not be able to run this for the entirety of the series because um, then our animals will eventually get mad because of cleanliness issues and stuff like that. But um, there's really not that much I can do about this right now. I will have to find a solution for this issue. Yeah, kind of blame the game because at this time blaming the game is absolutely the right thing to do uh, because that is exactly what we uh, need to do because we don't have two or three entrances to a habitat so we need to do something. The only thing I can really imagine of is, uh, let me just quickly do this uh, real quick, I mean we have, the good thing is we have obviously the uh, uh, turned on, um, how's it called again, free build turned on so we can just hit Z on the keyboard. And then we can pretty much do whatever we want, which is great because we will need to do this uh, uh, very thing. So what I want to do basically is just kind of bring a little staircase up. There has to be a gap somewhere where they just sneak through and I really don't know where. Uh, if, if you guys know where that gap is, please tell me in the comments because I certainly have no idea anymore. Uh, time passes by and we have still no idea. But what we will do, we are just going to do a little entrance sign and then we are done for today's episode. There has been so much done and I'm really, really happy with it. Um, like, seriously, just really enjoy doing this new series and I really do you hope you guys do too. Just a couple of things here in the water just to finish that one off. The center will look so much nicer once we have like the bridge in place there and you know going on like this will be good. But now let's do the entrance and I will eventually try to use this kind of structure because I like this quite a bit so let me just bring the structure over as like the blueprint for this side and then oh yeah we have still the random rotation turned on. Like, I don't want to have the random rotation, even though, in terms of the angle, it pretty much did what it should do. But I want to put this right in front of this thing here. Awesome. And now let's just, like, all of them go out of the building. And then we just make this... I think I'm going to go brownish. There you go. There, this, this is nice. And what we got to do now is we're going to just bring the action. Uh, no, but <laughs> just bring this over. So, oh, look at... They connect way too nice. This is... This is awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, um, let me just do a couple more things here. So first of all, I wanna bring those down, just like so. We can have three of them, but just like move this one. Ah, oh, you know what, if, if that's a thing, let's just tilt that one and two. That is actually pretty fine. Okay, so what we gotta do now is we just bring the whole thing back a little and rotate the whole thing because that's just what I want to do. Just have the structure to both sides. I think that's fine. Is this aligned in the center? Of course it's not. Okay, so basically do that again. And first of all, align that to the center because I just want to make sure that this in the center is at least parallel. The sides are not as important as I said. It can be a bit messy. It's fine in these types of parks, but just like a little bit of little bit of alignment should be nice. Okay, awesome. So that's done. That's pretty neat. What we got to do now is do some thatch roofing. Um, there's a couple of nice things like this, but we don't use those. There are a couple of, uh, yeah, there you go. These are the ones I wanted to use. Uh, let's align them to this because that should look a lot better. So first things first, we're just going to turn off angle snap. Just like that should be dope and then just bring that over it's not like i don't particularly like this texture a lot of the thatch but i think it's good enough and we do have like a nicer one over here even though yeah it's it's not like really a dope difference it's it's okay i guess oops i didn't want i didn't mean to put that down so let's bring that over and we're gonna put this in here Hello. Also, I'm sounding a bit more nosy again. I really do hope it's not a it's not a cold. It could also be pollen again because it's after a couple of weeks now. It has been a bit colder, and hence I was feeling quite decent. Uh, it's it's turning warm again, so apparently that could be the pollen. I just don't know. Or it could also be like all the kind of dust and stuff from our 
uh, new house where we are building. Also, if you guys are interested in the vlog, I'm preparing a vlog. I have filmed quite a lot of things uh, for this house and for the whole building process and blah, blah, blah. It's really cool. Uh, can't wait to, to show it to you. A certain delay designer already knows a couple of images and she's like, oh my God, keep sending them to me. Keep keep it going. I want to see the whole thing, blah, blah, blah. Um, so you can expect it to be really cool. Uh, I know that she's waiting for more content as well and I will, I will deliver, you know. I will deliver more content on that, but uh, first of all, we gotta have to be finished, and then you know we can see how the f how the whole thing works. Okay, I think this is pretty decent. I don't want to do more than that. It's good. We will eventually continue and shape this thing a bit better in the future, but um, we're gonna do a sign. Okay, so this is this is what we do, and it will change over the course of time. So this is a rather uh, easy simple entrance for the moment being but we are going to add certain elements uh, each and every episode so this is kind of an ongoing entrance build i'm really curious to see how this finishes up but um, i i thought this is also kind of a nice idea to add something every episode hopefully i will remember but uh, first of all let's type in sign so we can find one good one uh, this one is pretty neat it's kind of african even though i'm not sure if this should be an african jungle i haven't really thought about that it's it's just like a jungly area in my mind um can i first of all change the color to green and green and green and brownish kind of green that's that's a good color okay if i type something on top of that thing uh, tropicana is it oh yeah it's like that but it's put in the ground don't like that all right, so, but the color should be white, should be white or black. Yeah, black is almost better. What about a green outline or like a black outline? Oh, there you go. Okay, but I want to type it in all capital letters, Tropicana, like this. And then there's still like a better one. Like, this one is decent. It's not like particularly brilliant, but it's decent. And make that a little bit thinner. You know what, Tropicana is, is screaming more colorful color to me, so why not do that exactly? Uh, maybe this, this yellow is good though. It's not like super yellow, it's, but it's, yeah, it has to be something like neon. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We have to do it that way. And then we need a different sign for obviously the uh, kind of Lago font, or we just use a font for that, so why not? Let's use the font pieces, and I do want to... I, I, I just don't like those, but I've... Nah, yeah, I, 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 just, I just like... I just don't like them. Okay, so we're going to call this thing Lago, first of all, which is uh, not super creative, but... It's just the name of the zoo, okay? So don't don't judge me quite yet, okay? It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. So we are going to make this Lago as one building. Put that a little bit higher. Oh boy, I, I think having this to the right is not really selling the idea, but we gotta fix this in the future. Um, However, what's the color? I think it's like, it would be nice to have like, yeah, this is going into it. I just wanna... This is good. This is good. Yeah, it's good. Okay, so we have to basically add a couple more details in the future. But for the first time in having that this way should be good. I mean, the star of the show is this habitat for today. Um, it's a very decent start to a franchise. Not gonna lie, I like it. So let's do a little outro and I'll talk to you in a couple seconds. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of Lago Tropicana, our brand new franchise mode. If you did enjoy and you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would be madly happy if you guys consider subscribing because then you will always be informed if we do uh, have a new video on here, which you might enjoy and uh, which might give you some inspiration. But that should be it for today's episode. Um, yeah, you can see this is what we've done. A brilliant big garden with a couple of lemur specimens in, um, making good money for us to expand further in the next episodes and we also prepared for the future in terms of everything we need to do while the shaders go a bit crazy not sure what that is but anyways i wish you guys all a very good day have a wonderful time a wonderful week ahead and as i said if you want to see more stuff there's plenty of stuff on my channel you might enjoy and also if you want to enjoy the next one consider subscribing that helps me out a lot uh, remember i want to get the 100k this year it would be awesome if you guys could help me out on doing so but uh i keep rambling so i wish you all a good day have a good one. See you in the next one and goodbye.